So, um, on behalf of everybody at the Canadian Space Agency and the International Space Station program that uh, that trusted us to do our job right, uh, para. Um, yeah. And so, uh, I pass command of the International Space Station to uh, Pavel Vladimirovich Vinogradov. Congratulations. Expedition 35, the International Space Station is a, a fine ship. You have an amazing ground team, but you, the crew of Expedition 35, have been nothing short of tremendous. Not only have the efforts of Expedition 35 been extraordinary, but you've managed to bring us all along with you on your space odyssey. And for that, we thank you. Uh, before entering the craft, they were able to say a final farewell to the three uh, astronauts and cosmonauts that will remain on board the International Space Station. Uh, here you can see them beginning to uh, egress into their docked Soyuz vehicle. Uh, all of the crew currently inside of the Rossviet module right here. You can see NASA astronaut Dr. Tom Marshford now moving in. In a minute, I will select depot. Okay, separation confirmed. Timer is on. And separation confirmed at 6.08 p.m. Central Time while the station and Soyuz craft fly about 257 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Backing away at a rate of just a little over one tenth of a meter per second. Roman team. Roman team. R7. Roman Romanenko reporting the effects of the crew feeling while they pass through that max G-load portion of their descent. Time is coming. And there we are getting live views now uh, from the search and recovery forces of that Soyuz craft as it makes its final descent. Everything is phenomenal. You can see it there under the main parachute, uh, heading down towards its touchdown just about 10 minutes from now. We are ready. Reported altitude right now for the craft, 900 meters. Coming from the search and recovery forces, as you can see on scene, the Russian Mi-8 helicopter circling the landing zone in preparation. The ground in sight. Yeah, you can see the parachute coming down and the plume coming up from the soft landing engines. An unofficial landing time now at 9.31 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the three former Expedition 35 crew members returning to Earth. Here a view inside of the Russian Mission Control Center. You can see uh, written in Cyrillic there, yes, Pazatka, the Russian words for they've landed, uh, confirmed a, a successful landing for this crew. Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted from the Soyuz craft. All three crew members now safely out. Thumbs up from Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield returning from his command of the International Space Station. Let's be serious.